Hello everyone, it's Mae Larson here and I am going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a beautiful bow for a little girl. And here's one that I've made. I'm using Deco Fun's Bow Maker and their Grow Gain ribbon. And here's another one that I did. And you can fluff these out. Any little girl would look so cute with these little bows. And I used to do tons and tons of bows back in the day. Back then, they didn't have these bow makers. Um, I remember um, running to Joann's when my niece was born. I was in a senior in high school, and I would run to the store every time I had money in my hands just to get ribbons and all kinds of um, bow making supplies to be able to make her some beautiful bows. And I would even buy the plain packs of socks, and I would take my ribbon um, roll it around in a wooden dowel and bake it in the oven so that it, I would get a little spiral twist to it and decorate her little socks with those kind of things. So it just brought a lot of memories back to me. Um, one that I used to do a lot for my, um, my girls is the little simple one like this and this is the one inch deco fun grow gain ribbon and I used the um, the one and a half inch and I used the one inch and then I did a little rose for the center and of course um, a hair clip. Um, so this is the bow maker here and for this you're going to need of course your hair clips and there's different sorts, different types of hair clips um, but I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use their one and a half inch girl gain pink ribbon. I'll put all the links to where you can find these below on this video. And I cut it at 27 inches. And then on the lighter polka dot um, soft blue, and it's very beautiful. Um, this is the one inch, and I cut this one at 22 inches. And then I cut three strips of their satin at um, five inches. And then I did a little tail at the end and we'll do that. I left one so we can do it together. So you're going to get um, a bone folder or any type of um, tool that you can give it a good crease. Your scissors of course and your hot glue and I'm going to use a really thick crochet yarn um, thread so that I can tie some of these up. Alright so another thing you're going to need is a candle or a lighter um, and I have a little candle um, that's a lot easier than me sitting there trying to mess around with that. I hate messing around with lighters. Okay, so let's get started. So, like I said, I cut my bow to 27 inches and put that one over there. I have my two um, dowels here um, already placed, and then I'm going to take the ribbon, the, the larger one and a half inch, on my right hand put it in between and I call these the headbands and then I'm going to hold it here and then I'm going to go around the rod and between the he headbands again around the rod between and then again around let's see hopefully I have And you're going to adjust these until you have, I might have to tweak just a little bit. So we're going to make this a little bit smaller. I forgot I made a bigger one before I did this. Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead down this way. Again, let's put it in on my right hand. Insert it in between the two headbands around the rod in between the headbands around the rod and in between. That's one and then there's two again in between and again and you're going to adjust it and then between. So there we go. That's the, that's the bow. So it looks like that in the front and in the back it looks like that, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to carefully without messing anything up. You're going to pull it, hold it in between right there. See that? 
pull it out carefully. Make sure you don't lose your little placement. Okay. Turn that over. So now you have this. Okay. So what you're going to do now, it's as you're holding it like that in between, you're going to fold it in half just like that and then take this piece and fold it back. Let's see. Like that and then take this piece and fold it back. And then you'll get something that looks like that. And yes, I have a piece of tape there. I'll cut that out. Okay. So you'll have something that looks like that. Okay. So then go ahead and get your crocheted yarn or thread. Wrap it up just a couple times. I like to do this um, several times. And I leave a tail because I want to be attaching. Just go around a couple times, one, and then do the same thing on the other side. And tighten it up really good because when you tighten it, that's what you're going to get that nice crease. There we go. See? And then you can just kind of. Tweak it around. You need to adjust anything, adjust it. And make sure you're make sure these tails are evened. Do that. So that's that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off in the back. Leave that tail out like that. Okay. Now, take this piece here. Okay, you're going to fold it in half, just like so. Well, first of all, we need to do something. Let's make sure that they're both the same size. So what I do is I grab them, bring them up like that in the center. And I'm going to cut those ends. All right. Now, you can tell if that's perfect pinwheel or too long. It's a little bit too long, so we're going to go ahead and just cut a little bit more. All right, that should be about right. Yeah, that's good. See? All right, so then you're going to take and you're going to fold them in half just like that. And then you're going to take your scissors right at that edge and you're going to cut in an angle and you'll get that. Okay? And do the same thing on the other side. Again, fold it in half. And there's different ways of doing this. I've done these without the bow maker. Um, and it's also easy, and I'll show you how, you how to do that as well. Okay, so then you're going to take your, um, your uh, candle, and you're just going to make sure you run it through so it doesn't fray. Okay. That way it's not fraying. Okay. So that's that right there. Now, um, the, the figure eight, it's a little bit more complex, I think. I'm actually going to trim this just a little bit more. So I said I had it at 22, right? Um, I'm going to cut it just a little bit because that bow I made it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go and cut about two inches off. 
So make it 20. And I originally thought I was going to make it 20, and then I said, no, let's go this way. But, you know. All right. So once you have it, and it's about 20 inches, go ahead and crease in the center. And you can use your bone folder if you have one. Um, you can use the back end of your your scissors. You know, just kind of get it in there real good. Or your ruler, whatever you have, or your nails. Okay. All right, so you get that right, really nice good crease there. And then you're going to take it and you're going to flip it. As if you were doing um, a figure eight, like that, and then this little end is going to go to the crease end right there. And to help you hold that, um, put a dab of or a dot of glue, right? Just a small one, not a not a big one, okay? So then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, but you're going to do it on the right. You're going to go right side. And again, this little tip is going to go to the center crease right there. Okay. And that should work right there. Uh, this one's a little, what, why is this one a little off? I don't know, this one's off. Did I center that right? Sorry about that. That's centered. All right, let's see. So again, figure eight. Let's make that a little smaller. So this adjusts as your your what your width. I think I needed to make it because I just because I trimmed it off. Normally I will do the 22 inch. Um, so I'm gonna go there, tweak it up a little. How to tweak it? Tweak it because I forgot I changed it. All right, so now we're gonna do this side, and this is gonna go right on top of that trim, like that. See that? Figure eight. It's just a matter of adjusting it. All right, so we have it like that. Check to see that it's kind of even. And it is, see? All right, then you're going to take your finger, hold right there, on the, this the left hand holding the center. If you're uh, right-handed, you're going to grab with your right hand, you're going to push this to the center, just like that, and pinch it with your other hand, like that. Okay, hold it with your right. Now pinch this one to the center, just like that. It looks like a little butterfly. Okay, so adjust it, make sure your ends are right. But it looks just like that. Yeah. And then what you can do, let me get another piece of thread. Is you're gonna take it and you can use your sewing needle or you can take fold it in half. Again, this is a little bit harder. And I guess I should just get my sewing needle. Yeah, let's get the sewing needle. We'll do that again. Because it's, it is a lot easier if you get a sewing needle. Because it's like a one inch hard to hold in your hands. If it, you know what I mean? And I go, I'll go over that again. Because the figure eight's a little bit more complex. And um, you can't use the bow maker. At least I haven't figured it out, but um, to figure out the figure eight. And it is a little bit more difficult to maneuver that one. But once you get it maneuvered, and every time you change the size, you're going to have to tweak, um, tweak things around. All right. I got glue webs crawling up my hand, and it felt funny. 
sorry. You ever had glue webs and you're crawling up your hands? It feels really funny. Okay, so again, figure eight, go in the center, pinch it right there, and then do there. And you can kind of look to see if that looks right. And then you can take your sewing needle and then just do a little quick, like a running stitch almost. You know? Right in the middle. And then just kind of gather it. And then you can take your thread and run it through a couple times if you want to hold it in place. All right? Stitch it in. And I'm going to use that other one because this one's not very, this, it's a quilting thread, but it's not very, um, like I wouldn't say it's reliable. Okay. So then when you have that, you can kind of play around with it. Do you remember doing your little paper thingies that you went, you know, this is what it almost looks like. You know, you figure one, two, three, four. Okay. There you go. So that's what you're going to be doing. And here's my thread. I'm going to go ahead and just go around a couple times, make it look tighter with the thicker thread. I remember playing that game with uh, in school. All right, I'm going to snip this off. Just like that. So that's going to go like, like that in the center, but before we do that, you're going to get your little Deco Fun Satin Ribbon, and you'll need your needle for this. Get it ready. And so the other bow that I made was 22 inches um, because the bow was a lot bigger. Must be like a 28 inch bow. All right. So we're going to snip these ends just like so. Then what you're going to do is make sure you run it through the heat. Oh, that one's kind of, let's do that one again. Satin burns a little bit faster, so you want to just quickly, although I don't think, I don't see this satin fraying a little bit stiffer than other satins. All right, so then you're going to fold it in half. You're going to find your center point first. Fold it in half. Crease it just like that. And then fold it in half again. And this is really complicated. You're going to fold it down, pinch it there, and then fold it the other way and pinch it there. It is a lot thinner. Um, this ribbon or if you don't if you have a hard time with that just twist it because that is a lot thinner and it's 
to get that fold. It's going to be almost close to impossible. All right, run your needle through. And you want to make sure it's in the center and then wrap it around a couple times to get it really nice. Sharp, okay. Hold it in place there. Do the same thing with these. Find your center point. And I'm just going to twist it because it's just a lot easier. Okay. Run your needle through. it a couple times. Okay. And do the same thing with the last piece. And this you can do too with curled ribbon and that's where you're going to take and wrap it around a wooden dowel and then bake it. Um, and it'll come out after a few minutes really nice and curly. It's a spiral curl. It's really, really pretty. All right. I'm going to run it. Okay, if you have those kind of ribbons that um, have that that's one-sided, Make sure you align these right. Okay. It's just like I need I need to, I need to keep an eye on this one because I can tell that one is more satin, one side is more satin than the other. So I just want to make sure that my ribbon, and I'm just gonna wrap that around like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little stitch there. No one's going to see that. Let's trim that. And then you can put a little bead of glue there to assist you to hold it in place. Put it in the middle. And then kind of work around all that. And then I want to, oops, that was not enough glue. In the middle. And then grab each end. That's why I said leave these tails. go around, tighten it up a little. That way you're securing it in place and that little girl's not going to lose her hair bow somewhere down that recess, you know. All right. I know. If she's anything like my daughter, she'd be losing it halfway, not even halfway, as soon as she got out to recess. All right, and then you're going to take your little figure eight and you're going to situate it there, but we're going to put a... Put a glue there to hold it in place. Just like so. And then you're going to take your two little tails from that you left crisscross applesauce. Go to the back. And I tighten that up really good. Okay. So then it looks like that. Okay, we can fluff it out, do all kinds of neat things. Okay. 
and that's the thing about this. You have to fluff it up because these bows, they're fluffy bows. Okay, so fluff them out. All right. Looks like I might have to trim this one a little because you went a little bit cockeyed there. Let's trim these a little bit more. Too long. Too, too long. The measurement was for a bigger bow, so that's why. Okay. So like with everything else, you want to make sure you tweak it, okay? There we go. All right, so the final step is to take, I have all these little scraps of paint here, poke it off. And I'm going to take some of this one, and I'm going to make a little bit of a, like a rose, and we're going to tie a little knot. Now this girl girl gain ribbon, I like it because it's double sided, and it's not. It's you're not gonna make a mistake. So maybe a little rosebud, and you can tweak around it. I don't like that one. You can you know play around until you get the one you want. Okay, and then you can put that in the middle. Just like that. I'm going to play around with this one because I'm not too pleased about that. That little rosebud. Alright. That's better. Yeah. So now we're going to put a bead of glue in the center. Hold it there. It's like a little rose in the center of the bow. You can put pearls there. You can do anything. A little beaded strand of pearls coming down. That will be cute too. Just got to keep in mind if it's for an infant, you know, you don't want to put too many things that they might put in their mouths, okay? All right. So that's what's going to look like now. In the back, what I do is I grab one of these little clips. I remove the little mechanism. Now I'm going to. I know that I'm not going to use all this, so I'm going to trim some of this off right there. I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to use this to cover. Um, Hair bow. Okay, so I'm going to trim all the extras. Again, it doesn't have to be like super perfect. Um, there we go. Run it through your your candle or your lighter to get it to stop from fraying. And then I'm going to measure the inside because I want to cover the inside as well. I do everything my eyes, ladies. You guys know me. All right. So now I put some glue here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's not what I meant to do. I'm doing everything backwards tonight, ladies. All right, what I meant to do is the this side. Damn, I'm not thinking. It's late at night. Cover it up. Okay. 
Once you've covered it up, then you want to put it on your hair bow. You can tell it's been a long time since I've done these. Right. Pull it down. Secure it in place. I like to double everything. I want to make sure everything is safe and secure. All right, then I'm going to bring this piece here that we have here, the two tails. I'm going to tie it once or twice. That'll help keep it in secure place, too. Okay. Now I'm going to take this piece here out of the bow. And I'm going to put some glue here, and wrap it up. Trim all that extra. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Now, now we can take this piece and then we're going to cover all this mess with this little piece here. Go ahead and put your little mechanism back in. Okay, and it'll snap on, snap off. Okay, so that is a cute little bow. You can create. I'm my. I moved my cameras, ladies. If puff it out. You can make these for your daughters, for your granddaughters, for your nieces. You know. I used to sell these on when I worked on the base. Yeah, I moved that camera back. Okay. So that is that bow. Now, if you want to make the simple one, um, which is the one that I used to clip like right on the sides of my daughter's hair to pin up their bangs back, you can take like this one here. You had to do it in two sizes. Um, you have the bigger size and the smaller size. And I'm going to go with what color do we want? Mm. These two colors look good. Nah, they don't look too good. All right, let's do the 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 light pink. All right. So I'm gonna make sure it, you cut it about an inch or so. So this one, we're gonna cut it about. 11 inches and then you can go ahead and do your edges and then the little yellow one do we want to do yellow and pink now let's do pink about 10 inches so 11 and 10 all right 
So for this one, again, we're using the Deco Funds uh, broken polka dot ribbon. And I'm going to use my nails to oh, wrong one. varnish that. Make a little crease, not varnish. So then you're going to take and make these two ends are going to meet like that. See that? So we're going to put a bead of glue there. And another one right in the smack on the top of that one. Okay. And then this one, we're going to do the same thing. Be the glue in the center of that crease. And then a bead of glue on top of that one. Okay. I'm being attacked by glue webs, ladies. All right, now you're going to take fold it in half and it's just a little tight because you did put a bead of glue there fold it in half just like that okay and then take the one end fold it back like that so here it is you fold it almost like a fan and fold this one back and like I said because of the bead of glue it does get a, a little harder. You just want to make sure you have that nice little puffy pleat. Grab your yarn or thread and wrap it up a couple times. Adjust it if it's one side is bigger than the other. Yep, so. You want to make sure that your ends are even. Keep adjusting right now. I just kind of adjusting, making sure they're there. All right now, I'm going to tie it. I know that's where the center is, and you can probably do this one on the Deco Fun bow maker. Um, and don't forget that this deco fun bow maker is available at one scrap store. Um, but all these beautiful ribbons you can purchase at deco funds website which is www.decofunbowmaker.com. things. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing here. And let's make sure I get that center. Kind of got off sides with, with the glue. Okay. All right. So fold it in half. Bend it back like a fan. Again, same thing on the other side.
just make sure it's all evened. And sometimes you can look at it and tell, no, that's off, you know? Then you can put it in the middle. Let's trim these off. you tie it's going to tighten it up really good. It will. Right. This is a really simple one. You can make them in all different sizes. Just make sure you Get centered. Okay. I'm starting to get so tired, I can't even see the knots. All right. So then that's that, and then you can trim it off in the back. And you can add a little bow. You can put yellow if you want. That would be cute. Ooh, let's do blue. Yeah, that'd be cute. That's a neat. Okay, so you can get all these beautiful Grogain ribbon from Deco Fun's website. So make sure you stop by over there and pick up your Grogain ribbon and support a small business. Isn't that cute? Look. I'm going to go beat a glue. All right. And then My girls had thick hair, so it was kind of, well, my oldest had thick hair, and then when she was little, she had really thin hair, and then during puberty, her hair started to get really thick. I could hardly put my hand around her ponytail, and then my youngest, she was um, always very, very Almost she would bawl when she was a baby. Um, for the longest time, I could not even get a ponytail on her. I think she was about three or four, and I still couldn't get a good ponytail on her because the ponytail holders were too. Her hair was her hair was too thin. Um, and then um, when puberty hit her, she just started to get the care again. Um, and my oldest, her hair is thinning, and I think that's something that goes on my family because my hair has thinned a lot. All right, so now we're going to, my grandmother used to have thin hair. My mom had very thin hair, too. Okay. So now we're going to put, why do I feel like that is not centered right? Okay. I put that in the center there. Over. Gosh, I'm almost going in the house doing the bows. Who would have thought? All right. 
See these my daughter would wear. Clip her hair back. They don't have to be perfect unless you're going to sell them. Now I put this here to cover up that mechanism glue stuff. Okay. And we'll just add our little mechanism in the back. And that'll be it. And you can fluff them, you can puff them, you can make cute little and then a cute little bow. We're removing the camera again. I did not like that camera. Okay, so that is that. Um, and you can go to Deco Funds and get all the cute little, these are really pretty. They're past pastels, perfect for babies, I mean, and little kids. Just so cute. And even if you're not making little um, hair bows, you can also use this. This is so gorgeous. I could see, I could totally see this in the little gift bag or um, these colors, which is so cute, or a cart. Um, so stop by uh, Deco Fun Bowmaker's um, website at www.decofunbowmaker, and I will put the um, SKUs for the items that I used today to make these boutique pinwheel bows using Deco Funds ribbons and their bow maker because I used a bow maker to make the pinwheel. Anyway, ladies, until next time, have fun. Have a good day. Bye-bye.